Hey everybody, um, Dr. Bonnie King here. I want to welcome you to Counseling 6023, Counseling Children uh, in the Summer 2 session. So I'm very excited to have all of you in class this semester. It's going to be jam-packed. So I just want to let you know that up front. We are going to be working our tails off, me and you included. So just get ready, buckle up and let's begin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the syllabus. All right, so here we are. Um, so we, this is a four week summer class and um, you are required to meet at Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. for class. And, um, but I'm also going to require that you watch all my videos and read all the chapters before you attend class. Um, that, way the, that way we'll have a lot, an easier time having discussions and really um, so helping you, you know, ask the questions that you need so that I can answer them and kind of go over the nitty gritty as opposed to just doing a traditional lecture because I do the, the traditional lectures through video. Um, so I do not have office hours over the summer, so that's one thing that you need to know. Um, but my contact information is here and email is probably gonna be the best way to get in touch with me. Um, but you know, if necessary, um, you know, we're welcome to call me as well. Um, okay, so the texts that are required for this course are Gary Landreth's The Art of the Relationship, third edition um, by New York Rutledge, which is from 2012. And also, um, please get Barbara Strauss, um, No Talk Therapy for Children and Adolescents. So these are the two texts that you're going to want to read. Um, and some supplemental or recommended books that, you, that, that I've provided for you that will really help deepen your understanding is um, Virginia Axline's Dibs in Search of Self. It's a really good book and definitely worth the read. I highly recommend it. Um, I also recommend that you check out the International Journal of Play Therapy, um, the Play Therapy Magazine, and the Journal of Counseling and Development, and the Journal of Multicultural Counseling and Development. And some helpful websites um, are the, at the Association for Play Therapy, which is www.a4pt.org and the centerforplaytherapy.com. Um, I would definitely check those out. They've got lots of fantastic videos um, showing what we're gonna be learning about because we're, we're learning a lot about play therapy in this course. Um, so this course is designed to explore counseling from the perspective of a child. Emphasis is given to various theoretical approaches to children's counseling and will include special populations. You'll learn about play therapy and other cre creative approaches to working with children. Um, mainly you're going to be working about play, learning about play therapy, but we're also going to touch on some other creative approaches. Um, this is a four week class, so it's really hard to fit in everything that I would like to teach you about counseling children. Um, but we're going to give you the basics so that you at least have a knowledge base to start from. Um, so the learning outcomes include learning play therapy and other creative approaches to working with adolescents and children. Learning to encourage expression through the utilization of play, expressive arts, and games. Recognize the developmental stage of the client, um, physical, emotional, and social. Describing the history and development of play therapy, and I'd like you to be able to define play therapy. Um, you're going to identify the primary categories of toys in a play therapy room. Name and describe basic play therapy skills. Verbalize the unique aspects of the therapist-child relationship within the play environment reflect on multicultural considerations within play therapy, relationships with caregivers and children, as well as within the play therapy environment, and examine and report on research that's relevant to the efficacy of play therapy. Understand various ways of counseling adolescents through a no-talk therapy approach and engage in, in and utilize creative approaches with adolescents. So I'm not gonna go over the KCREP standards addressed, but you can certainly read them. Um, I'm going to move on to the meat of what's required and the assignments because I know that's what's most important to most of you, um, as it was for me when I was a student as well. Um, but definitely take a look at these KCREP and TEA standards. 
Um, here are the course requirements, and this is really important because we're, we're with each other for such a short time. Um, you need an internet connection in D2L. You have to be able to access D2L. I say, you know, you need to be accessing D2L daily in this class. Um, there's a five, this is five weeks online, really just four with a few extra days for your exams and to turn things in, which means that you need to treat it like a full-time job. Um, I expect, you know, six to nine hours of reading per week. So I'm going to say that again. You're going to be doing six to nine hours of reading per week in this class. You're also going to be a, um, doing a 30 minute counseling session with a child utilizing the skills that you learn in class. You're also writing two papers. You'll be doing weekly, two weekly assignments each week. And, and the reason I'm, I'm kind of cramming it all in is because, like I said, there's so much to learn. And for you to learn anything in four weeks, we have to zip through it quickly and intensely. So I know most of you are teachers or school counselors on summer break. Treat this like you're working. Um, that way you can be you know, successful, but also so that you can get as much out of this class to be the most effective as you possibly can with students. Um, so you're required, so you're required to attend every single class. You cannot miss a class and there is an attendance grade, so that will be docked. You're required to watch all videos and complete weekly readings before class so that we have lots of things to talk about and so that you can ask questions. And um, that's, you know, that's going to impact your attendance grade as well if you just kind of hang out and don't say anything. Um, as opposed to, you know, it's obvious that you've read and that you've watched the videos and you have something to contribute and really ask about in class. Um, you're required to enter and experience the world of a child client through active participation in all assignments and class discussions. And you will turn in one counseling video, 30 minutes in length, and a paper demonstrating counseling with a child or adolescent. Along with the video, the student will complete a paper describing the session, the modalities used, and a completed skills self-assessment. And a final paper is required in the class. Um, and weekly assignments will be required in addition to the reading. So, the weekly assignments are gonna be worth 100 points. Weekly attendance is worth 100 points. Tape and paper is worth 200 points, so 100 for the video and 100 for the paper. And then the final paper is worth 100 points for a total of 500 points. Um, so I will go over the um, individual assignments, particularly the, so for the weekly online assignments, you just need to stay in D2L and keep up on those deadlines. I'm going to put them in the calendar, um, but you're going to have deadlines very frequently, which is why I'm saying, you need to be in D2L really every single day, just at least to check in. Um, Monday through Friday, I mean, on the weekends, you're okay. But, um, and then, you know, make sure you attend class um, Thursdays at 1.30. Um, the tape and paper is worth 200 points. Um, so as I, as I, as I mentioned, and I will go over those in a separate video. So I've broken down the, those assignments a little more, um, intently and same with the final paper. So I will break that down in a different video as well. And, um, oh, this needs to be updated. Um, I will, I'll update the points, but basically to make an A, you need to make um, 400 to 500 points. Go ahead and change that. I will go over that later with you in class on the first day. This needs to be updated. Um, okay, so you're required to complete eight assignments, two per week. So you may have an online discussion or a weekly assignment, um, and there were, well, you will have both, worth 25 points each. I'll outline the journals and discussions with questions for reflection. So um, most of you who have taken my classes before know there's either a uh, discussion or a weekly assignment. And in this class, you'll likely have both. And those are due by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Um, 
So again, you're going to want to stay on top of it. Um, also, um, the way that, so your due dates will be in the calendar, but they're also going to be in the modules. So week one module will have everything you need to watch and read uh, and complete for the week in that module. So if you're familiar with D2L, if you're not familiar with D2L, you need to get familiar with D2L, but those of you who know D2L and know my classes, know that the way I structure my classes are that whatever week it is, you click on that module and you need to read everything that's in that module because I don't put it in there for no reason. Um, so if you just follow along with the weekly modules, you should be fine. Um, and that's not to say I won't make a mistake. Sometimes I do. I leave something out or, um, you know, something's not quite right and you can just let me know and I'll fix it. Um, but that's kind of how things work. So if you're feeling a little lost, and you don't know where to start, just follow the modules in order. Um, and everything you need is in each weekly module. I'll also have a separate module for projects and that's for your big projects. So definitely take a look at that because it'll have videos for each major project and the assignments for each major project outlined in that module. All right, so weekly attendance. So obviously classes will be held Thursday of each week. It is expected that you attend class weekly, um, and it's expected that you, that you come having completed the weekly re readings and watched the videos and other resources in the weekly module. You are required to participate in class discussions and provide insight, insight to classmates about the material. So we're all here to kind of help each other and build each other up. That's why we're meeting in class. Um, it's for me to help you with the information, but it's also for us to learn from each other. So missing in class or not participating will lower your attendance grade. And then your tape and paper. So you're required to create a video counseling session of yourself with a child or adolescent, demonstrating what you've learned in this class about developmentally appropriate counseling approaches with children. You must demonstrate basic counseling skills using either child-centered play therapy or an experiential no-talk approach, which is based on your book, um, based on what you've learned in the class. You are expected to apply a theory and demonstrate evidence-based approaches to working with children. In your video and analysis of your video, you should show theory, developmentally appropriate counseling skills, specific child-centered or experiential approach in the video, positive regard in therapeutic relationships, so obviously positivity in that relationship, are the most important thing. Culturally sensitive approach. And um, for the video, you're required to find a child who's willing to be taped. So you're going to, ta you are not going to, to tape a real client. You're going to tape a, um, you're going to tape someone who's a volunteer who's willing to work with you, a child or an adolescent who's willing to work with you to do this mock counseling session. Um, you are required to obtain your own materials for use with your child. Art supplies, sand tray, toys, and other materials are required. Um, but, but you can also rent some play materials through the College of Education. So we, will, we do have a tote bag playroom that you can check out for a few hours, but that, those are not to leave the lab. Um, so there's a counseling lab downstairs, so you can record in there. Um, talk to me though before you're if you're planning on doing that um, Your paper will analyze your use of skills and provide rationale for the interventions you utilize in your counseling video your paper should be I'm changing that four to six pages long Four to six pages long Not including your cover page in references and your paper should be in APA format so you can take a look at the video and paper assignment and paper explanation video for more information. Um, follow the rubric. I've provided you with lots of information about exactly what I want. So if you follow that, you should be just fine. And then the final paper. You're required to write a final paper about one of the approaches to counseling with children that you've learned about in class. You can choose a child-centered approach or another, um, a child-centered play therapy approach. Um, or another theory like Adlerian or cognitive behavioral, but what your um, play therapy. So there's lots of different theories of play therapy, 
But what we're going to be focusing on in this class is child centered because that is the most highly researched and it's really like the, the base where you start. Um, and so you can, but it, you know, you can use a different theory, but it may be difficult for you to gain all the knowledge that you need to effectively apply that to your counseling video in three weeks, because three weeks in is when your video needs to be done. So that's not a lot of time to learn and apply a theory. So you may want to stick with kind of closely kind of what we're learning in class. Um, you can use, you know, an experiential or, or no talk um, therapy and you can use, or you could use art therapy. Um, if you choose art therapy, you still need to frame the paper within your chosen theory, such as CBT, humanistic, etc. Whichever um, approach you, you use, you're required to write about the history and creators of the approach, theory of personality or beliefs about human nature, structure of therapy, goals, approach, and methods for conducting therapy, the techniques, um, research and evidence that supports the approach, and populations with which you would like to use the approach and why the approach appeals to you and how you would apply it. This paper should be seven to 10 pages long in APA format, not including your cover page or references. You must cite at, le at least five outside resources other than your book. So let's look at the schedule. The first week, July 18th through the 14th, you're required to read the Strauss book, chapters one and two, and you'll have um, the due Wednesday thing is more of a suggestion, um, but you'll have you know an assignment related to that those chapters, and then the Landreth chapters one, two, three, and seventeen due Sunday. I've broken it up like that to help you kind of get through one chunk first and then another chunk next. Um, so there are less chapters, and that assignment's due Wednesday. And then there are more chapters, and that's due Sunday. It gives you a little more time to complete the work so that you're not trying to do one, two, three, four, five, six chapters in one week. Um, although it's definitely doable. I promise you that. Class will be held on Thursday, July 11th. Um, the discussion of chapters will be play therapy, and I will discuss experiential sand tray therapy. Week two, we're going to talk Strauss, chapters Strauss um, three, four, and five. We're going to talk about these chapters. Um, so that's those are the assignment for the Strauss is due Wednesday. The Landreth chapters four, five, six, and seven are due Sunday. In class on Thursday, July eighteenth, we will discuss the chapters and we'll talk about puppets and other theories of play therapy. Week three, we're going to talk about chapters Strauss six through nine. And, um, oh, sorry, week three, the class will be held July 25th. You'll be required to complete um, chapters six through nine. You'll have an assignment due that Wednesday. And you'll have Landreth chapters eight, nine, 10, and 11. And then you'll have those due, your assignment will be due Sunday. And, sorry, that doesn't go there. And then class will be held on July 25th. We will discuss the chapters in art therapy. I recommend that you complete your tape by July 28th. So by the end of the third week, you should have your tape done. And the reason for this is that your tape and paper are due by 8-4-2019. That's the next week. Um, you're fine. So let's go on to the next week. So week four, you're going to have um, chapters Strauss chapter 10 and the appendix, and you'll have the assignment due Wednesday. You'll have Landreth chapters 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That assignment will be due Sunday. Um, And your tape and paper are due 8-4-2019. Um, so that's a Sunday, I believe. And then finals week is really just a few days. It's the 5th through the 8th. Um, and your final paper is due on 8-8-2019 by 11.59 p.m. So please plan accordingly. 
Um, I'm going to send out this, I'm going to be sending out this syllabus early so that you can get started on the reading early. Um, the minute D2L opens, you're welcome to get started on the assignments and you're also welcome to work ahead. I just want to make sure that you're also watching the videos and any extra readings that are in the modules as well. And so that's it for the schedule. I've also put together um, a tote bag playroom and this is from, from our book. Um, because a lot of you are going to be working in schools, so you'll want a, um, you know, a portable, maybe a portable way or, um, to create a play therapy room that you can travel with, or you can also look in the book and there's uh, like a full playroom list, a uh, toy list and recommendations for the room if you actually have the ability to raise funds to create that in your counseling space. So you can take a look at this. Oh, all right, that's all I have for you for the syllabus. I know you're likely going to have lots of questions and there are a couple things that I need to update like the grade scheme. But um, other than that, that should be done by the time this class actually happens because I'm recording this in April. Um, so I'm very excited to have you all in class. I'm here for you. Please feel free to ask questions if you need to, if you need help. Um, I'm definitely here for you. It's a fast and furious semester, but we can get through it as long as we stay on top of it. All right. Thank you so much and have a great day.